Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall look at examples related to vectors in three dimensions and we will use the properties of cross product this time. So, let us take an example. In this example, if A is a vector which has components 2i minus 3j minus k and if B is another vector and if the components of these are i plus 4j minus 2k we want to show one of the properties uh, of cross products that we want to show that vector A cross vector B is equal to negative of vector B cross vector A so this is the this is one of the properties of uh, cross products so we will show that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so as step number one step number one we will take the left hand side we'll call this one as the left hand side of the equation we'll call this one as the right hand side of the equation LHS and RHS the left hand side we have A cross B, vector A cross vector B. And uh, to do that, we're going to write them out in this manner. 2i minus 3j minus k, that is vector A, cross i plus 4j minus 2k. That is what we have. And therefore, when we expand this out, it is going to be 2i cross i cross i, 2 times 1 is 2, i cross i, plus 2 times 4 is 8, i cross j, plus 2 times negative 2 is going to be equal to, going to be equal to, negative 4 so I'm going to um, erase this and then write here as negative negative um, uh, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 then we have I cross K so we've exhausted the first component of the first vector then we'll go to the second component then we'll take negative 3 times um, 1 is negative 3 and then we have j cross i right and then negative 3 times positive 4 will be negative 12 we have j cross j like that and then negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6 we have j cross k like that and then we, we have exhausted the second component of the first vector then we go to the third component of the first vector and then distribute it out so we have um, negative 1 times k cross i minus 4 times k cross j minus or this is going to be negative times negative is a positive so positive 2 times k cross k right now one of the properties of uh, um, of vectors in three dimension is telling us that when we have i cross j that value is going to be equal to k k cross j cross k is going to be equal to i and k cross i that value is going to be equal to j also j cross i this value is going to be equal to negative k k cross j just the opposite of that is going to be equal to negative i and uh, i cross k this is going to be equal to negative j also i cross i is going to be equal to 0 j cross j is going to be equal to 0 and k cross k is going to be equal to 0 and uh, now that we have all that information 
it is a matter of simplifying these these terms so therefore I'm going to call that as step number three therefore um, two times if I were to look look in here I dot I is zero so therefore that is going to go to zero J dot J is going to go to zero so therefore that is zero K cross K is going to go to zero therefore that is zero so therefore um, I have 0 plus 8 times i dot j is k I'm going to write k there minus 4 times i cross k is going to be equal to negative j like that minus 3 times k cross i is negative k like that minus 4 times k cross k cross j so let's uh, review this. We I think we missed something here. This we sh here um, after we did negative three j cross i is negative k. Then we have plus six times j cross k is i. We got that. Then minus one times k cross i is equal to j like that and then minus 4 times k cross j is negative i and then plus 2 times 0 is 0 so we got all the all the things we've used the properties and we simplified as much as possible then we it is just a matter of uh, simplifying it some more and this is going to simplify to 8k plus 8k right and then negative times negative is a positive plus 4j plus 3k plus 6i minus 1j or just j like that and then plus 4i so we have uh, uh, i's and j's and k's in here so we'll collect all the items so we have 8k plus 3k Plus, um, I mean, we have I's and J's in here, so let us look for them. We have uh, 6i plus 4i, which is going to be equal to 10i. We took care of this and this. Then we have J's, 4j and um, 1j, 4j uh, minus 1j, that is going to be equal to plus 3j. And then we have 8k plus 3k, which is going to be equal to 11k. So we got all the parts in there, therefore we are on the right track. So we got, this is vector A cross vector B. Vector A cross vector B. Now we want to take the right hand side and then prove that the value is going to be negative of what we got here negative value negative uh, sign of whatever whatever value we have here 10i plus 3j plus 11k so let's try that so in in the second part i'm going to call this one as the right hand side we're going to take the right hand side and in the right hand side we want to perform this operation vector b cross vector a this time vector b cross vector a vector b is i plus 4j minus 2k like that cross 2i minus 3j minus k okay and therefore we want to perform this operation and when we perform this operation since we know uh, these properties we are going to write it out in this manner uh, i dot i is going to go to zero so therefore we go to leave that alone and then i uh, times negative 3j is going to be equal to let me write that let me write that and then we, we can see what is happening here 2 times i cross i minus 3 
times i cross j plus this is a this should be a negative sign here so minus 1 times i cross k that is the first component uh, distribution the second component distribution are 4 times 2 is 8 plus 8 j cross i minus 12 j cross j minus 4 um, j cross k we have exhausted the second component and then we'll go to the third component which is negative 4 k cross i plus 6 k cross j plus 2 k cross k like that okay now as you can as we can see i cross i is equal to 0 j cross j is equal to 0 k cross k is equal to 0 and therefore we can come back here and simplify this some more and when we simplify this it's going to be 2 times 0 is 0 minus 3 times i cross j is k minus 1 times i cross k is negative j plus 8 times j cross i is negative k minus 4 times minus 4 times j cross k is positive i minus 4 times k cross i is positive j plus 6 times k cross j is negative i and then 2 times 0 is 0. Therefore, when we simplify this some more, this is going to be negative 3k plus 1j minus 8k minus 4i minus 4j minus 6i. Okay, we'll combine all the i's and j's and k's in here now. So we have 4i negative 4i plus negative 6i that is going to be equal to negative 10i then we have j uh, plus j and then um, plus j plus 4 and uh, minus 4 4j that is going to be equal to negative 3j like that and then we have negative 3k plus negative 8k that will be equal to negative 11k negative 11k and therefore when we look at this if we were to pull out the negative sign common this is going to be equal to 10i plus 3j plus 11k therefore we have proved that the left hand side is exactly equal to the right hand side but with a negative sign so we have proved that the cross product between vector A and vector B is equal to the negative of vector B cross vector A. So that is what we have proved here. Okay? So uh, we can use the cross product properties to, to solve simple example problems in, ve in vectors in three dimensions. In my next presentation, we should look at some more examples related to vector operations in three, three dimensions.